the holidays fast approaching, Apple announced its newest technologies at a well-timed invitation-only event in San Francisco Tuesday morning. These amazing products are great examples of the type of innovation that only Apple could deliver. Headlining the event, a full-sized iPad with not only a new look, but a new name. Yes, we call it iPad Air. You can see the bezel is 43% thinner than the previous version, making it more comfortable to hold in your hand. They were talking about how the iPad needs an evolution, and this is more of a, a fine, a small evolutionary step, not a big leap in rewriting what the iPad is to people. A 16-gig iPad Air runs $500 and is available November 1st. As for the iPad Mini, its dimensions remain the same, but it now sports a crisper retina display and, of course, a higher price, $400 for 16 gigs. It hits stores in late November. Apple will still sell the original iPad Mini, though at a lower price of $300. In addition to updated 13 and 15 inch MacBooks with faster processors and longer lasting battery life, Apple revealed the specs of its new Mac Pro, its professional desktop machine. The $3,000 black cylinder is a dramatic departure from previous models. It is our vision of the future of the Pro desktop. And today we'd like to tell you even more about it. So inside this new generation Mac Pro is the fastest processor we've ever put in a Mac. A new generation Intel Xeon E5 comes in four, six, eight, or 12 core designs. Software updates took center stage for part of the event. In an unexpected move, Apple announced that customers could download Mavericks, its latest Mac operating system, free of charge. Now, the idea might be that it's more worth it for everybody to be up to date than it is to try to collect money for that. I think that's probably the strategy and a smart one. So you don't have people going, oh, it doesn't work on my Mac. What am I going to do? Apple CEO Tim Cook seemed confident as he left the event. But will iPads and Macs be the go-to gift of the season? That's for customers to decide. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET for CBS News.